This is The Real News Network. I'm Sharmini Pierce coming to you from Baltimore and welcome to this edition of the Glenn Ford Report. Jeffrey Williams, just 20 years old, was charged on Sunday for the alleged shooting of two police officers working at the demonstrations that took place in front of Ferguson Police Department shortly after the resignation of Police Chief Thomas Jackson on March 11th. The young man, Jeffrey Williams, thus far appears to be unknown to the organizers of the demonstration, who's been fighting for civil rights and justice since the killing of Michael Brown. How the media has covered these events and is the topic of our next discussion with Glenn Ford. Glenn is the co-founder and executive editor of the Black Agenda Report. Thank you so much for joining us, Glenn. Thanks for the opportunity. So, Glenn, uh, you seem to take uh, uh, note of the way that the mainstream media has been covering the shooting of the two police officers, and you seem to contest that point of view. Well, yeah, the New York Times and the rest of the corporate media, CNN and the rest, uh, they are saying uh, straight out uh, that the shooting of these two cops is somehow a setback for the Black Lives Matter movement. Well, whether it's a setback or not uh, really depends on what you think the goal of the movement is. And to find that out, you need to talk to the people who are uh, running this movement, uh, not to CNN and the New York Times or any of the uh, so-called black leaders that they uh, decide to talk to. So if the goal of the movement uh, is to establish better relations with the Ferguson police, and I mean the Ferguson police as they're presently constituted, uh, then shooting at the Ferguson police certainly uh, is a setback to the movement because you don't start a dialogue with gunfire, although the police express themselves through uh, use of force all the time. Uh, lots of people are talking about dismantling the Ferguson uh, police force entirely. In fact, uh, Attorney General Eric Holder is entertaining that idea. And if that happened, then the county police force uh, would take over the policing duties of the Ferguson police force. So if the goal of the movement uh, is to uh, create better relationships with the county police force, which would be uh, taking the place of the Ferguson police, then I suppose that the shooting is a setback to the movement. And finally, if the goal of the movement is to set the stage to make uh, Eric Holder and his Justice Department's job easier uh, as they pursue a, a consent decree uh, and then bring forward their usual uh, reforms, uh, if that's the goal of the movement, to be helpful to Eric Holder, then I guess the uh, police shootings are a setback to that movement. But I don't think that this Black Lives Matter movement uh, is about uh, helping the uh, U U.S. Justice Department uh, perform consent decrees. I don't think that thousands and thousands of young uh, people have gotten all fired up uh, about uh, establishing uh, cozier and uh, more loving relationships with the police. This movement is not about making the armed occupation of black communities all across this country more pleasant. The movement is about ending that armed occupation. It's not about reconciling black people to the armed occupation, and it's not about making cops feel better about being the armed occupiers. The movement's not concerned about cops being happy or feeling safe and secure. Uh, it's concerned about black people in their own communities uh, feeling safe and secure and not being afraid of the police. And there's no reciprocity uh, involved here. It doesn't go both ways. The police are supposed to be in service of the people. There's not supposed to be negotiations uh, between the police uh, and the people. The goal of the movement, and I think this is, this is the truth, I think this is what uh, the organizers are really looking for. The goal is to establish black community control over the police and to change the meaning and the practice of policing in the United States. Uh, therefore, there's been no setback to this movement uh, by this individual shooting uh, at cops, uh, just as there was no setback to the movement in New York. 
uh, after two cops were shot dead back in December. In New York, the demonstrations continued, and in Ferguson, they continued. Now, Glenn, uh, one of the things, positive things coming out of the Eric Holder report is he actually stated in his report that this police uh, force in Ferguson cannot be reformed. It must be abolished. Uh, so the next step for the movement is really revising uh, how they govern uh, the, the uh, city of Ferguson in terms of policing. Uh, so the question to you, is policing necessary and in what form should that uh, be uh, reestablished? Well, policing as it exists in black America is not necessary. Uh, it is part of the oppression of black America. There is an assumption that black people are uh, criminals uh, ever since around 1970. Uh, that, that has been the, the process, that has been the driving force between behind policing in the United States, the assumption that black people are uh, criminals. Uh, and if that is, is what uh, underlies uh, the Justice Department's uh, philosophy of policing, then whatever they do with their consent decree uh, is going to reflect that same oppressive uh, kind of, uh, of, of ideology. If we're talking about how black folks uh, organize in in Ferguson uh, to uh, try to create a different kind of police department. Well, you do that on several uh, fronts. One, of course, is just in the electoral arena, and uh, folks are getting uh, more active in Ferguson uh, in, in, in that arena. Uh, but, the, but the other more important uh, piece is in the streets. We know the name Ferguson. We have a movement that's associated with a, t a little town of 30,000 called Ferguson because black people stood up uh, to uh, the police. And that stand-up battle is by no means through. Uh, it's just uh, begun. Uh, and it is the behavior of folks in the street, what they will tolerate from whatever police uh, force they put in Ferguson, or whether it's the county police or a reconstituted Ferguson Police Department. It's the people's uh, behavior in the face of what we can expect to be the same old kind of policing uh, that will be important to the con continuity of this movement. Glenn, as always, I thank you for your commentary. We appreciate it here. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on The Real News Network.